Twilight Zone, 1959, The Jungle. Travelling through another dimension, dimension not only sight and sound, but mind. Turning into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Next stop, The Twilight Zone. Say, Doris, I lost one of my cufflinks. Oh, I see, if I can find it. Now I've found it. That's all right, then. I found it in your jewellery case. I found some other items. Oh, what about them? You tell me. There's nothing much to tell, really. So to bring back some souvenirs. Souvenirs? A human finger? A sacred death stone? Felt's claw? Bubbles of a witch doctor? That's all these are. That's all these are to you. Souvenirs, of course. Nothing else. Are you sure? Certainly I'm sure. And you won't mind if it's supposed to them, will you? Alan, don't. Please don't. Don't. Alan, please don't. Why not? No. All right, now... All right, now, they are. Are there any more souvenirs? We, won't, we ain't in Africa any longer. We're here in New York. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is for weak people, ignorant, uncivilized people. Don't know any better, not for you or me. Doris, we've done nothing wrong. We've nothing to fear. These are all from a bunch of witch doctors. What are you afraid of, Africa? Do you remember what? The old shaman said long ago when men started, men started drilling. He said it was wounding the land, hurting it, making it bleed. And he said the land would make us pay. Doris, we left Africa weeks ago, did we? Well, I wonder. Alan, something at night. Sometimes I feel it all around me. It's some huge, dark animal. Alan, please, please don't let them go, go there. Tell them it won't work. Stop them while... It's still time, please. It's my job to engineer a hyperelectric project, not panda ignorant witch doctors. I try to be back early. I'll never be back. You'll never be back. Don't open the door. The carcass of a goat of a dead finger. A few bits of broken glass and good stone, Mr. Rich, Alan Richards. A modern man of modern age, hating with all his heart something in which he cannot believe and preparing, although he doesn't know. To take the longest walk of his life right down the centre of the toilet zone, levelling a dangerous drainage where he just started, as well as primary work on the dam itself. The time for completion will be upped by three to, to six months, but it shouldn't affect our general cost more than a few thousand dollars. Well, it's getting very late. Before we make a decision, I have a few questions if you don't mind. Certainly, sir. I'm sure you consider this carefully, but for my curiosity, what about natives, natives? What about them, sir? Well, what's the attitude? Well, let's say, what's their attitude? How are they acting? As far as I know, well, the Karoo are violent people. They resent the loss of their homes. They resent the enterprises, even though they benefit them eventually. They resent us. I doubt they cause us any serious disturbance, except for Ukurui. Ukurui or witchcraft. Numbers Sherman has decided. Put a curse on everyone connected with the enterprise, effective, but the decision to go ahead with the project. A sort of curse, Mr. Richards, the usual, slow, painful death. Now, gentlemen, I assure you, there's nothing at all funny about you, Corey. Oh, you're not serious. I am. I've seen it, I've seen it work. Seeing healthy men sicken and die in ten minutes, with the time set by the witch doctors who cursed them, healthy men and women. It wasn't touched, it wasn't poisoned, it weren't harmed in any way. Just died, don't talk rubbish, Alan. Wait a minute, just a second, Mr. Clare. What time is it? Oh, I say, what's this What is you wearing on your watch chain? Why, it's a very fault, isn't it? Do you wear that? Now, see here, it's for luck, isn't it? Well, what's that got to do with magic? Sinclair carries a seven foot of a dead animal for good fortune. Can you see what that, what's that to do with magic? Hardy, Hardy's amused, though he's known... Although he is known as a superstitious man, why have you finally given up astrology? Well, now, he's a 20th century man who allows the stars to make his decisions. Fine job you've done to it, it, of it too, young man. Exactly what Kuru, witch doctor, said to me, was just his pant for bones. Could not foretell the future. You didn't smile, Mr. Templeton. I've seen you knock on wood more than once. I'm Mr. Alan Fleming. When, when did you walk, last walk, under a ladder? Throws salt over his shoulder. All right, Mr. Richards, you made your point. Million dollar corporation run by witches, warlocks, forty million, uh, in a forty-story building that doesn't have a thirteenth floor. 
Now, gentlemen, Mr. Richards, Chad, tell me something if you want to get hold of a dead coat at an hour's notice. Where would you go? To a circus? No, I'm serious. Well, so am I. You really want a dead coat? No. Then what are you talking about? I'd do it, hey? What's this? It's my dear Chad. It's Kapuru. Protective amulet. Where do you get it from, Doris? You see, this is a lion's tooth. I gather it's been te- been taken from lions. And New York, yeah. Well, I've got to admit, you're, do- you're doing a fine job. This is how Doris looks at it. What will you do about Doris? I don't know. She's sick, isn't she? So are half the six people. My wife carries a lion's tooth. The company presents a rabbit's foot. It's the same, same rotten disease. It's eating away at strength. The will, the very soul me. Hey, hey, Alan. Think you'd better have another drink? Hmm. Alan, take it easy. Guy, guy doesn't get worked up about something he doesn't believe in. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Come on. Look, it's three o'clock. Doris will be, wor- still be, wor- will be worried. No, I called her. I told her I'd be late. Did you pay? Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hey, Chad, hey. Everybody here? Hello, Cabminster? Should I the house? Right, drive the light screen. You can go, drive the light screen. Oh, hey, excuse me, mister. I've had nothing to eat for two days. I surely appreciate if you help, could help me out. Sure, sure, yes, sir. God bless you, mister. Hey, wait a minute. Where did that sound come from? What sound? What sound was that? Those drums. I don't hear no drums. Listen, you mean to tell me you can't hear that? Hey, oh, you have to excuse me. My ears aren't as good as they used to be. Hey, wait a minute. How could you like... How would you like to make some money? Doing what? I'm trying to get home on the other side of the park. If you walk with me, I'll give you ten dollars. Now don't tell me you can't hear that. Hey, come back. Hey, come back. Look, I'll give you twenty dollars. Come back. Some suspicions kept alive by a long night of ignorance have their own special power. You hear it through a jungle grapevine, a moat corner of the zone.